Good morning to you. Here it is, Monday morning, January the 8th. I got this delivery I gotta do about 14 miles away. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get there. And I'm making it right on time. Excellent. After I make that delivery, I'm gonna go to the cross dock and pick up the load that I dropped off yesterday over there. Pick that one up, take it to Sacramento, and I'll be done for the day, hopefully by afternoon. That'll be perfect. So, let's get the shoe on the road. Well, I got a good feeling that this isn't going to be a quick uh, unload. Um, they haven't even started yet, and I think I've already been here for about 30 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with some of my video footage from the dash cam. Uh, I have to convert it on my laptop so that I can edit it on my phone. But one disappointing thing that happened yesterday is this camera right here stopped working. Uh, this one still works, but the side camera doesn't work anymore, so I'm going to have to go back to the truck stop. It's a TA, uh, one I just came from this morning, uh, and exchange it for one that works. It's just going to be a real hassle because it took me a while to set it up with all the wires and putting it back in the box and all that stuff. Oh, oh well, that happens. But in the meantime, I'm going to edit some vlog footage. we here. successful delivery I just got a uh, a pickup from my dispatcher so I'm gonna go pick up a load and then I'm gonna go pick up that second load that I left yesterday at the warehouse so I'm gonna make those two pickups and then head home or home <laughs> see home for me is sometimes still Sacramento <laughs> um, yeah head out to Sacramento so I'm gonna go do that now to the nice people inside um, they said I got about an hour and a half to kill while they load me so I think I'm gonna drop my trailer here unhook and go over to Chipotle right across the highway probably like a mile or something and get some food over there Chipotle Panda I don't know I'm hungry I haven't I haven't had breakfast yet or anything and it's already 1134 and I've you know been functioning all morning so I'm gonna go fill up on some food and be back before they even probably get halfway to finishing. <laughs>
I get to park anywhere the four wheelers do. And I only take up four spaces. Oh, I love bobtailing. Wow. <clears throat> I am stuffed. Man, those burritos. Massive individuals. Ooh. Yes, I just remembered. This is a target here. And at this target, there's a Starbucks that I was chilling at yesterday. Ooh, I'm about to go get some coffee. Mm. I could walk there. Oh, dang it. Forgot. <clears throat> but I'm a truck driver. I don't like to walk places. Stereo Ooh, I'm gonna hold this camera while driving through the parking lot. Why? Because I like to live on the edge. <clears throat> I'm a little bit dangerous, okay? I'm not I'm not all safety. I'm not all about safety all the time, okay? Like I said in my pre-trip video, safety is only the second priority of trucking. The first one is getting coffee. I gotta switch gears. There we go. So, and it ain't no thing, look at that. Just target over here with its coffee. Now I just gotta find some parking. Oh, can't drive through there. Oh, here we go. Maybe I should have just walked. There's not much space anywhere close by here. still gonna have to walk. And... Ha, look at me still taking wide turns. I don't need to be doing that. One-handed operation, here I go. Man, what a beauty. Okay, that's pretty much just as far as where I was. I just made a circle, and that's all right, because it's, it's for coffee. Yes, here we go. Triple shot grande raspberry latte. That's right, I said raspberry latte. That's my drink of choice at Starbucks. I like raspberries. They're my favorite berry. Yep, they're my favorite berry. Well, it's been about an hour since they said an hour and a half. Wait, so I'm gonna go back and check on them, see if maybe they uh, hustled up a little bit, but who am I kidding? It's probably gonna be another hour and a half if I know these people. finished here uh, now I got a second pickup to do and then the warehouse pickup so I have three loads all together picking up a few minutes away I gotta get going because I've already spent way too much time at this one Push it down. I'm 
I like this kind of busyness. I sometimes I get bored just staring straight ahead on the highway. I like jumping around doing pickups and deliveries and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's energy, it's activity, you know. Well, anywho, I'm gonna probably get to editing some videos. I'm making some some uh, changes to my vlogging style. Well, not really, but I'm trying some stuff out, and it's getting exciting. Vlogging is getting to be more exciting now. I think I, I, you, I in the past, I kind of got into a rut where I was just kind of doing the same thing. Now I'm trying out some stuff, and it's it's interest, It's making it interesting, so I like that. It's giving me a little challenge. All right, two down, one to go, baby. I am going to go back to that cross dock that made me park in such a way where I my entire tractor sticks out on the street yesterday I'm gonna go get that load and then straight home from there fine oh, I still say home Sacramento <laughs> straight to Sac home is where the heart is I guess <laughs> day oh let me tell you got the third load picked up and I'm ready to go to Sacramento but first I'm gonna make a stop at the TA and uh, exchange that uh, dash cam over there hopefully there's not a line and it's gonna be quick because I really want to get back before it starts getting dark and icy in the mountains so I'm gonna head out now Gotta get up now, gotta run from this Here comes the shame, here comes the shame lady said that she can't exchange it here I have to go to the original one in Arizona that I bought it at that's probably not true depends on who's working I guess so I'm gonna get some fuel real quick and uh, so that I'm ready to go on my next trip also saving money for the for the company because fuel in California is like 60 cents per mile more expensive than it is here or something like or 
pumps per gallon, I think. It, it's a lot more expensive. So I'm just gonna fill up the tanks all the way. And uh, then it's about a two and a half hour drive to Sacramento and I'm off for the day and for the next couple of days, probably till like Thursday. So pretty happy about that. Gonna get to hang out with my sisters, some of my friends. I think my cousin's coming into town on the 10th. Daniel, the homie. So that's pretty exciting. But for now, I'm getting fuel. Ready? Oh, there it goes. All right, I think it's ready. up to Sacramento I can't believe it my trip is over that's always a good feeling always a wonderful feeling <laughs> uh, it's raining out here man that's all right it's 60 degrees well more like 54 anyways uh, I think for the rest of the day it's six o'clock I'm probably gonna hang out with my sister and her husband I don't know we're gonna go to the store or something they're about to come pick me up so I got to get my stuff as quickly as possible. I don't want to keep them waiting. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. I uh, appreciate all the comments, especially those are the funnest, so keep them coming. And to all the new subscribers, uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching the vlogs, and I will keep making them as long as you guys are watching them. So, um, yeah, thank you guys very much. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow.